All right, today's uh, February 3rd, and here we go. Check this out. Tip's broken. That's definitely a, definitely a point. Sweet. First piece of the year. Today's like uh, March 10th down here along the wall. Just found a piece of the automotive club right there. And I look over here and guess what? Always the card is broken off. Two different ones. There we go. Right through the car, just like always. Still a good find, happy to have it. It's rainy, it's cold, I don't have my metal detector, I'm just eyeballing. Alright, today is like March uh, 11th or something. I'm back down at the wall. Pickings are pretty slim, but I find this interesting little thing here. It's like a little cap or something. Alright, we'll get back with you if I find anything interesting. Find a little pewter doodad, but I'm not sure if it's even worth looking at yet. Alright, I just got something to interest. Got like a little buckle or something here, but it's uh, lead filled. Lead or pewter filled. So, it definitely uh, is telling me it's gotta be older. I think it's like a little buckle. I think their piece came out over here or something. I'm not really sure, but that is pretty neat. Alright, I just got a token. It says uh, F. M C K both sides here. Alright, that's kind of a cool find. Yeah, it's not much, but it's the first weed of the day, it's a 57D. Alright. Alright, things are looking up. We just got the uh, 1888 uh, Indian. I am running all metal mode, so if it ain't iron, I'm digging it. And I got a lot of garbage so far. All right, check that out. 1875 Indian. Definitely happy to have that. It's not in the best shape, but hey, it's still a readable date Indian. All right. All right. So you should don't find forks, but man, look at that thing. That is the weirdest looking fork I've ever seen. It's got big tine on there. All right. All righty. We just got a um, 36 buff. Got a pretty good date on that one too. There's a mint mark on there, I'm not sure. Alright. On to the next. Yep, here we go. Another uh, Lisley uh, Brewing Co. Uh, bale seal there. This one's a little rougher than some of the other ones, but you can see it's got the bottle cap shape to it there. So, I can see the part of the the and the Lisley there. So, alright. I'll take it. Yeah, here's a something metalworks Aurora. I know where Aurora is. It's up by Chicago. It's like a tool tag or something, maybe. All right, it's pretty fragile. I don't know if it's gonna survive. All right, we just got us our third Indian. Uh, looks like a 1900. Alright, we'll take it. Three Indians today. Alright, 
right, today's uh, March 17th, and look, I just pulled up one of these old parks that I go to, and they ripped the tree out right there, so I got some dirt to look through. Uh, this park's pretty beat down. I'm going to run all metal mode and just see what happens. Uh, I am out of work right now till further notice, so hey, I ain't got much else better to do than go metal detecting, so. Uh. All right, we'll see what we can find. Come over here and start checking this pile, all right? And now look, I get a bang of signal, and I have a silver barber quarter right on top here. I just seen it standing up. 1895. Right there. That is crazy. I don't know why I decided to come down here today, but I tell you what, I am glad I did. I can't believe that. I mean, just a few minutes. I mean, the car is right there. I just walked right straight here, circled right around, and boom. Oh, man, that is awesome. I didn't even have to dig it. Well, let's see what else is here. Banging signal right here, quarter there. Piece of a lantern top right here. Yep, nope, just got the first week, 1950. Alright, let's keep moving along. It's been a success today, so I don't care what I find from here on out now. I actually, I dropped into full sensitivity coin jewelry mode because it's just all motor mode. I just can't hack it yet today out here. Alright, on to the next. Alright, we just got a 1919S here. I did get one uh, 45 out of the dirt pile where I got the barber quarter, so. Alright. Alright. We just got the uh, 1907 Indian. So should clean up okay. Looks like it might have full liberty on there, or at least a partial liberty. Alright. Got a piece of, um, I'm guessing it's a silver bracelet. This has some letters on that one side here. It's definitely uh, too hefty to be aluminum, that's for sure. And it definitely shines up like silver. Alright, we'll take it. Alright, we're back. This is the last two hunts put together here. So no shortage of garbage like usual, nails and everything else from today. And zinc and plenty of pool tabs in here and fever tails and oh we got a bunch of lead a couple random flakes got more pieces of the 1915 peoria automotive club here always half never a hole for a car there's our, our fork, must be like the chopping edge there, a little fossil, another little fossil, like a piece of a cuff link or something, a little piece of broken pewter or something here, something that says push to start, another little doodad, maybe a cap for a powder flask or something maybe, I don't know. Here's our uh, Lion Metal Products, Aurora, I'm sure it's Aurora, Illinois, part of the numbers missing here. There's our little lead filled uh, buckle or something here, I guess, or had been their piece coming out over here. Looks like there was maybe an attachment down here. Well, really good find. Uh, here's our... Our crude uh, little broken uh, arrowhead here. Well, happy to have it. Uh, no shortage of clad, pennies, and dimes, quarters, and nickels. Uh, unusual bent up piece here. I'm not sure what that's for. It had another uh, prong right there on the right side. Let's see a couple of uh, Lisley Bale seals. These aren't quite as nice as the other ones I got, but hey, it is what it is. Got the 53, uh, 19, 19, I believe, 40, like a 57, 44. 
17 uh, D, I believe. Here's a 48, I think. Here's 19. Or no, this is 18. That's 18. Here's 19, 45, a 16, 1950, uh, 1912. We got the 1875 Indian here. She ain't in the best of shape. But that's what it is. We got the uh, 1888, we got the uh, 1900, and we got this uh, 1907 here, it's got a full Liberty on there. The ones out of the dirt do so much better it seems. We got the 1936 Buffalo, 1945 Weedy out of the pocket change, here's our, our Fumuk token here it says FMCK on both sides but I thought that's kind of cool yeah here's our little piece of silver bracelet I'm guessing here you see it's got a couple letters on there it's like a H and something well, it's definitely silver and you can hear it a little tink and here's our Prize of the day right here. 1895. It still has a partial liberty on the headband. A partial headband. No mint mark, but you know what? It's uh, the second barber this year, and it's the first barber quarter this year, so definitely happy to have it. So I'm going to be uh, probably doing a lot more metal detecting. Like I said, I am uh, forced out of work for the the pandemic, as they would call it. So, oh, what are you going to do? I'm just going to go out and do some digging. Make the best of it. All right. It's been all tough. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed. And then we'll see if we can get some more hunts in this week and next week. And who knows, might, might be four weeks of hunting for all I know. They say two weeks, but it could be a month. Who knows? All right, everyone take care. Be safe. Happy hunting.